Good morning to all of you, my friends out there, young and old. Um, my name is Dr. Kelly Bird, and I am going to be doing story time with you this morning. I would like to first say thank you to the Blairs of ICME Bookstore in University City, Missouri, uh, for inviting me to do story time with you all. I'm really excited about doing that. I know that this is a bit of a crazy time for us and a lot of us are maybe feeling a little bit down because we're stuck um, in the house and maybe can't go outside and um, you know hang out with our friends and, and do all the fun stuff that we're you know that we're used to doing but um, it is still very exciting that through this virtual world that we're still able to um, have story time and share some uh, hopefully fun, fun stories with each other. Um, I am going to actually be reading three stories this morning. One of the stories is my own personal book and it's called Like Sunshine on an Otherwise Miserable Day. Like I said, I wrote this book and the illustrator of this book, the person that did the pictures is Patricia Vasquez de Velasco. The second book that I am going to read is Zomo the Rabbit, a trickster tale from West Africa. And this book uh, was written and also illustrated by Gerald McDermott. This is one of my old, um, one of my old favorites. Uh, I like trickster tales. And the third book that I'm going to read is kind of a new favorite. Um, it is called Fresh Princess. And yes, it is inspired by the Fresh Prince, if anybody out there has maybe seen that show. I'm sure some of you have. Um, and it was written by Deneen Milner and the pictures are by Gladys Jose. Okay, so let's jump right into this. Again, the first book here is Like Sunshine on an Otherwise Miserable Day. Ready? I just love sunshine. I love how it streaks through my windows and brightens my room and how the sun dances on my skin and warms me from the inside out. But what I love most of all are all the fun things I can do outside in the sun, like swimming, playing tag with my friends and hula hooping. Does anybody out there still know how to hula hoop? I used to, but I'm not very good now. Do you know how to make sunshine? Well, I do, and I bet you can too. Let me tell you a story about how I made sunshine on an otherwise miserable day. And miserable just means not so fun. It means bad. So there she is, very happy with that sun shining through her window. And she is about to tell us a story. I woke up early in the morning. I was super excited thinking about all the fun my doll Luna and I were gonna have outside in the sun. But when I looked out the window, it was raining cats and dogs. There was no sunshine at all. I knew it was gonna be a miserable day. She looks like she's pretty filled with hope here, but then looks out that window and look at that rain coming down. There's no sun out there. I pouted my way to the kitchen. Mom, I thought I was gonna have fun outside, but it's raining so the sun can't shine. You can make your own sunshine, Kainalu, Mom said. How can I make sunshine? I bet Mom's got some ideas. Well, since you can't be happy doing your outdoor activities, you have to find a way to be happy doing your indoor activities instead. That's what I do. Let's start right now. How about you come give me a big warm hug? 
there she is giving her mom a big hug. I just love hugs. Then off I went to make sunshine. I wonder what Kainalu's gonna do. I grabbed my favorite funny book. Bo, would you like me to read to you? Yeah, 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 he said with a smile. When Bo giggled, his little tummy wiggled. He laughed so hard that he knocked over his blocks. I could feel the sun bursting from the inside out. It felt so good that it made me wanna shout, creating sunshine in my own way, doing fun things with my family when I couldn't go out and play. Felt like sunshine on an otherwise miserable day. Here she is reading to her brother. And now look at that. She's got two thumbs up, so she must be turning her day around. I found my big brother Baxter drawing in his room. Baxter is a great artist. I pulled a chair right up next to him so I could draw too. I watched Baxter very closely to learn how I could make my picture just right. Your drawing is pretty good, Lou. That put a smile on my face. I could feel the sun bursting from the inside out. It felt so good that it made me want to shout, creating sunshine in my own way, doing fun things with my family when I couldn't go out and play, just like some of us, right? Felt like sunshine on an otherwise miserable day. And look at there. She's working on her picture. So spending time with her big brother too is also making her very happy, creating that sunshine. I went to show dad my picture. It's a masterpiece, Canaloo. Come have a seat. I've got a, a story to share about me and you. My dad told me how he liked to draw pictures when he was a little boy. Guess what? He liked to draw horses just like me. I could feel the sun bursting from the inside out. You, join me if you know this by now. It felt so good that it made me want to shout, creating sunshine in my own way, doing fun things with my family when I couldn't go out and play. Felt like sunshine on an otherwise miserable day. In the kitchen, my mom had out a loaf of bread, peanut butter, bananas, and honey. Mom, peanut butter and banana sandwiches are my favorite, and Luna's too. I know, Mom said, and we're going to make this one extra special, sweet girl, just for you. So there it, they've got their bananas and honey and peanut butter and bread. And they're gonna make this one extra special. I don't know if anybody else likes peanut butter banana sandwiches, but I certainly do. You should try them. I drizzled that golden yumminess all over the bananas and peanut butter. The honey looked like a stream of sunshine. Then I smashed the two slices of bread together. I couldn't wait to take a bite. I could feel the sun bursting from the inside out. It felt so good that it made me want to shout, creating sunshine in my own way, doing fun things with my family when I couldn't go out and play. Felt like sunshine on an otherwise miserable day. This must be her super excited face. I think this is Kana Lou's super, super excited face. By the time I finished my delicious snack, the sun was shining bright and the whole family went outside to enjoy the beautiful sunshine. You see the whole family out there? They all look pretty happy now. I learned that when you have fun, with others, you feel happy, and they do too. You can make your own sunshine anytime you want, 
even on an otherwise miserable day. The end. And at the end of this book, there is a list of 10 things that you can do to make your own sunshine. And I think that would maybe be a fun thing to do, to have some time and sit and think about 10 things that you know put a smile on your face. And for Kana Lou, that was reading to her brother, drawing a picture, um, listening to a story with her dad, and making a sandwich with her mom. And those are, I think, are all pretty, you know, fun things that we can do. And you, whoever is there with you, mom, dad, aunt, uncles, grandma, grandpa, um, brothers, sisters, cousins, whoever, friends even, whoever you live with, take some time and try to um, think of some fun things that you can do together during this time. Okay, so here is our second book. Zomo the Rabbit, a trickster tale from West Africa. There's Zomo on the front. Like I said, I really enjoy trickster tales. Zomo. Zomo the Rabbit, he is not big, he is not strong but he is very clever. And clever means that he's, he's got some smarts about him. There's Zomo. Looks pretty clever to me. Time was, Zomo wanted more than cleverness. He wanted wisdom. He went to Sky God and asked for it. Zomo. It's not so simple, said Sky God. To get wisdom, you must earn it. You know, Sky God talking to him. How, asked Zomo. You must do three impossible things, answered Sky God. Impossible means that it's probably going to be pretty hard to do. First, bring me the scales of big fish in the sea. Second, bring me the milk of wild cow. And third, bring me the tooth of leopard. I will try, said Zomo. And off he goes. I wonder if he's going to be able to do it. I mean, he's just a little rabbit. I mean, he's asking for scales from a fish, a big fish, and milk from a wild cow and the tooth of a leopard? I don't know. We'll have to see. Zomo went to the edge of the sea. He began to play his drum. He played so loud his drum beats went down to the bottom of the sea. Deep below, Big Fish heard the music of the drum. Look at him coming up to the top of the water. He hears something. Big Fish came out of the water. He danced on the sand. Faster and faster, Zomo beat his drum. Faster and faster, Big Fish danced. Big Fish danced so fast, his scales fell off. Big Fish was naked. Oh my goodness. He danced those scales right off. How embarrassing. Splash, he jumped back into the sea. Quickly, Zomo scooped up the fish scales in his hat and hopped into the forest. There he is, hopping away. In the forest, Zomo climbed a palm tree. He looked all around. Then he saw wild cow. <laughs> Laughed Zomo. You are not so big. You are not so strong. Who's that laughing at me? Asked Wild Cow. Look at Wild Cow down there. Zomo's up in the tree. Wild Cow's down here wondering, who is laughing at me? It's me, called Zomo. I say you are not even strong enough to knock down this little tree. Wild Cow got angry. 
she ran at the tree to knock it down. Look, she got a, a big start, a running start. Thump, she hit that tree, but the palm tree was soft and her horns got stuck. Quickly Zomo slid down the tree. He turned his drum upside down and filled it with milk. By the time Wild Cow got unstuck, Zomo was far away. Look at that angry cow stuck in that tree and Zomo is out of there. Zomo took the path to the top of High Hill. It was the hill where Leopard walked every day. Zomo tipped his hat and sprinkled a few fish scales on the path. Zomo tipped his drum and spilled a few drops of milk on the path. Then Zomo went to the bottom of the hill to hide behind a rock. There he's sprinkling the scales and sprinkling some milk and then hiding behind the rock. I wonder what's going to happen. Hmm. Soon, Leopard came walking over the hill. He slipped on the slippery scales and the milk. He rolled down the hill. There he is slipping and rolling down the hill. Bump! Leopard hit the rock. His tooth popped out. Up jumped Zomo. He caught that tooth. Quickly, he hopped away. Look at that tooth coming out. Can you see it? There's his tooth right there. I bet that hurts. <laughs> Zomo took the scales of big fish, the milk of wild cow, and the tooth of leopard to Sky God. Sky God smiled upon Zomo. You are clever enough to do the impossible, he said. Now I will give you wisdom. Sky God spoke and Zomo listened. Three things in this world are worth having, courage, good sense, and caution, said Sky God. Little rabbit, you have lots of courage and a bit of sense, but no caution. So next time you see big fish or wild cow or leopard, better run fast. Look, they are angry with that rabbit. Zomo better get out of there. Zomo is not big. Zomo is not strong. But now Zomo has wisdom and he is very, very fast. I love this story. I always, every time I see a rabbit outside that's jumping really fast and gets away very quickly, I always think about this story. And I wonder, is that Zomo the rabbit out there? Hmm. Okay, this is our last story. Fresh Princess. And I like this story a lot because the Fresh Princess uses her imagination a lot. And I think that this is a good time for all of you to maybe exercise that imagination muscle and maybe write some fun stories. So let's read our book, Fresh Princess. This is destiny. Her dad calls her prince, princess, his fresh princess. Destiny likes a lot of things that princesses like, poofy dresses and sparkly shoes, shiny crowns, her princess throne, and her loyal subjects too. There she is with her dresses and her shoes and her crown and her loyal subjects, which look a lot like stuffed animals and dolls. But I bet they're very loyal, none the same. She's also really good at being really fresh. That means she's brave 
has her own style and is super smart. She shines like a new penny most days. Being fresh is a good thing. I bet there's a bunch of really fresh kids out there right now and some fresh parents too. Like when Destiny's big sister Marley teaches her how to double dutch and Destiny jumps and trips and struggles and jumps back in again, cool as she pleases until she's got it licked. And double dutch is not so easy. I remember when I could do that, but I haven't tried, so I might have to try sometime. Today, Fresh Princess is not feeling fresh at all. That's because her family is moving to a new house in a new city. It is far away from everyone she knows and everything that she loves. Destiny is not happy about that. See, they're moving all of their belongings into a moving truck and their house sold and she's saying goodbye to her friend. Not a fun day, I bet. Her dad tries to make it all better. That is his thing. Boo-boos get band-aids, belly aches get soft rubs, sleepy heads get good night kisses. On this day, getting back to feeling joyful takes way more work. Her heart will need more to fill in the empty spaces where her happy used to be. There's dad doing all those great things that he does, but today does not seem to be working. She's pretty upset. Destiny perks up a little bit when she sees her new room. It has potential, she says to herself. She imagines the magnificent city she'll build there, the fancy luncheons that she'll host, and the new throne that will be the centerpiece of her new castle. Look at that imagination of hers. Imagining her city or castle and her new throne. She's got a pretty good imagination. Destiny finds a new favorite place where the daylight greets her every morning and the stars wink at her at night. She perks up a little more when she looks outside. Destiny listens to the rhymes as the double Dutch rope skips a beat across the concrete. Blue bells, cockleshells, Evie Ivy over. The jumpers swing their hips and watch the ropes. Then they take flight. Destiny thinks it might be fun to jump in, but those kids are good, really good. So for now, she just watches. That looks like a really nice place to look at the sky though. And for her to see new friends on the block doing double dutch. Her dad wants to help his fresh princess feel at home. So he invites her on a big adventure. One of his favorite things to do when he was a kid in this neighborhood was to ride the L train. Speeding at the top of the city made him feel like the king of the world, dad says. Let's go see your new kingdom. So here they are getting on the L train. And the L train would be like a subway, or if you've ever um, ridden on the Metro Link, it would be similar to that too. They've got lots of people walking through here and somebody playing music. That's probably a new experience for her. Madam, your royal carriage. Destiny takes dad's hand climbs the steps and prances down the aisle to her royal seat. She giggles as the train picks up speed, whistling and whirling through West Philadelphia. She looks pretty happy now. Along the way, Destiny's dad points out love letters tucked on the building's rooftops and spines. 
Keep your head to the sky, fresh princess, he says, as they roll on by. Destiny waves and blows kisses at the building. Buildings salute her passing by. She does love what she sees, but still, she aches for home. Let's take a look at some of the messages that they have up here. I think these are pretty cool. This one says peace and love. This one says look at the beauty around you. Be the change that you want to see. This one says love. This one says find your muse or find your inspiration. This is probably my favorite. It says the best things are on the other side of fear. Back at their new place, the kids are playing double dutch again. One of the girls flashes a smile and invites her to join Destiny and in invites her to join. Destiny says, no thanks. She's not ready for her public. Not yet, but maybe soon. They look so friendly. Why are you not playing double dutch, ask Marley. You are just a good, as good a jumper as anybody here, she says with a smile. What if I fall on my face, asked Destiny. It wouldn't be the first time. Plus, you just get up. You are the fresh princess. Destiny thinks about this and realizes she can do it. She grabs her sparkly sneakers and decides to get out there and show them how it's done. Here is her sister, Marley, encouraging her to go out and just give it a try, right? It can't tr hurt to try. And she's getting on her sparkly shoes and she's gonna go outside. Can you jump? Asks one of the girls. She says her name is Mari. Destiny gives a slow, yes. Come jump with us, says Mari. Mari introduces Destiny to the block. There is Shaney and Esty and Zoe and Zion, Miles and two Lilas. There's Lila number one and Lila number two. I better these are gonna be all of her new friends. Finally, it's her go. Destiny takes her place next to the ropes as the Turners swing their arms. Cinderella, dressed in yellow, went upstairs to kiss her fella. Destiny takes a deep breath, swings her hips to the beat, and like the brave princess, jumps in. You see? She's kind of a little worried here, but it looks like she's got it. and the happiness she feels in this very moment, jumping high and free, surrounded by her new friends, is the freshest of all. The end. And she sure looks very happy there with her new friends. So that is the end of our last book. Again, I had a wonderful time with you all here at Storytime. I hope that you all uh, enjoyed these books. Um, if you did, you can certainly um, check them out on amazon.com. Again, our books are Like Sunshine on an Otherwise Miserable Day. This is my book. Zomo the Rabbit, A Trickster Tale from West Africa. That's by Gerald McDermott. And The Fresh Princess, which is by Deneen Milner. And again, you can check those books out. You can absolutely go to I See Me Bookstore and um, find and order these books. And you can go and pick them up. They're doing curbside pickup for parents that are still looking for reading materials for their kiddos. Um, go check out I See Me in you city, uh, Missouri. Again, I had a wonderful time and I hope that I get to do story time with you again. Have a good day. Bye-bye.